Welcome to another Minecraft World Edit Guide. The series where I take you from complete beginner in Minecraft World Edit to someone that can produce some amazing builds. Last episode, I taught you how to use brushes and masks so you can produce some amazing results in just a fraction of the time. If you're not familiar with World Edit and you haven't watched the other episodes, I do recommend you go and take a look. Some of the commands there will help you understand most of the commands that we do moving forwards. There is a link to the playlist in the description below. Go there, come back. It's the law that you've got to watch this one afterwards and I hate to get you arrested. In today's episode I'm going to teach you how to import and use schematics in Minecraft World Edit and I promised you at the end of the last video this one will transform your Minecraft building capabilities. So what is a schematic? Well it's a file that stores the build shape and the block palette of anything you've done in Minecraft and then that can be saved on your computer and used again in an entirely separate world. This means you can literally bring your favorite elements from one world into another without having to rebuild build them instantly. So imagine the possibilities here. You've made several different Minecraft worlds and across all of them you've done loads of builds that you really like and you want to bring them all together in one single world. Well you could of course just rebuild them couldn't you but what's really easy is to pull them all through in a schematic. Or maybe you want to create a forest with a load of the custom trees that you've made previously. Whatever it is you want to do schematics are genuinely your friend. But before I show you how to use them I'm going to show you where to find them and I'll tell you why in just a moment it's really important once you've got world edit installed on your computer come to your minecraft folder you can find it by typing percent app data percent in your search bar that will take you to your roaming folder once you're there go to the config file double click that and then you'll see world edit click on world edit and then click on schematics and you'll see a list of all the different schematics that you've got saved in your computer if it's the first time you've come here and you've used it before obviously it will be empty and in that folder you can rename them delete them, move them into an archive if you don't want to use them anymore. But remember, if they're in an archive, you can't access them in game. You can only access the files that are directly in that schematics folder. I'll show you what I mean in just a moment. And it is really important that you know what the name of your schematic is because you have to know it exactly. Any numbers, any letters in the right order. So being able to find and open up that file means that you can check your spellings. The first thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to create a schematic. I've quickly built up this little tower as a demonstration. I've then selected the area around it, being really careful to make sure every block is inside, especially if there's any pop outs that come out towards the top, but also being as efficient as I can be with the space. I don't want to have any excess air blocks, it's just unnecessary. The more blocks, the bigger the file. The bigger the file, the more likely it is that you're going to get some lag. So do make it as small as you can. That is normally only a problem if you've got really big schematics, though. Unless you're on a server, make sure your schematics are as small as possible on a server because they experience more lag than a solo world. Once you've got your area selected, come to any point of it, make sure you know exactly where it is and type slash slash copy. Pop it into your clipboard because with schematics, it is all about the clipboard. It's also a good idea to know which way you were facing when you did the copy. This time I was facing east. This is because it also saves the direction in your schematic file. Then you can stand wherever you want. Type slash slash SC. You'll see you've got two things that will auto fill. One is skem, one is schematic. Don't use skem, it doesn't work. Use schematic and then go save and then give it a name that you want to give it. I'm going to call this demo tower and then press enter you can see it is saved demo tower is saved and if i come and look in my schematics folder you can see here demo tower is now in the list and that is it i've created a schematic file i could share it with friends i could sell it on the internet if i wanted to or i can transport it into another one of my worlds and i'm loading up a brand new world here just to show you it's actually a really nice seed and i want to put my tower right here on this open field it doesn't matter that this world is brand new and i've never built anything I can still bring the schematic in really easy with a single command and that command is schematic space load and then I put the name of the schematic that I'm about to load in and this is where the spelling thing comes in is so much as one number one letter is wrong it is not going to work so I'm going to enter schematic load demo tower and that has now put it into my clipboard. It doesn't bring it in straight away. You get to choose where you're gonna put it. And I'd like to put it here, but remember I said it also remembers the direction. So I wanna be facing east. I've got my F3 screen up here and I am facing east. And then all you need to do is type slash slash and paste. It's a good idea to put the flag minus A. If your schematic is overhanging anything, you don't want the air blocks in the schematic to take it out because your schematic is not just the structural blocks, it's also the air blocks that surround it. So I'll 
press enter on that command right now, that'll bring that tower in and you can see the entirety of that tower is now in this world. And then if I wanted to, I could come over here and stick in another one, slash paste minus A, bang, I've got another one. Maybe I want another one over here, let's do it again, slash slash paste minus A, and I've got another one. And I could do that as many times as I want. That can obviously get really powerful if you're putting in things like custom trees that you might have as a schematic. But Avo, what if I don't know the direction of my schematic? Well, that's not a problem, dear viewer. Don't worry about it. I'm back in a flat world and I'm going to bring in something that I did a little while ago. I'm going to type slash slash schematic load AT80 iron farm. Now, I did this ages ago. The link is in the description below if you'd like to go and have a look at it, by the way. I'm going to press enter. You can see that is now loaded. However, it might be in my clipboard, but I've got zero idea what side of me it's going to be. But it doesn't matter. I'm just going to do slash slash paste and I'm going to see where it is. Right. It's right in front of me there. That's perfect. If I didn't like that position, I just do undo and I lose it. If I want to rotate it, I can rotate it 90 degrees and then I can paste it again and it will now be here in behind me. It works in whatever way something in your clipboard would work. This tutorial was really cool by the way. I really do recommend you go check it out. Because the schematic is in your clipboard when you load it in, it works like anything else that would be in your clipboard. So you can paste it, you can rotate it, you can do all of those commands that we've done in previous episodes to it because it's just in your clipboard now. And you don't have to make your own schematic you can get loads of them for free on all kinds of sites on the internet. Just search up free Minecraft schematic and you'll find loads. One place you could try is avamance.com. There are hundreds of schematics on there as well as other worlds as well. Give it a go. You're more than welcome to them. And that's it for this episode. I did tell you it was easy. Next episode, we're going to bring everything we've done together in one final amazing world edit bash. And so don't miss that. Probably best to hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell so you don't miss it. It just makes sense. You're a clever person, aren't you? Just do it. And I will look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.